And as you can see here, uh, Bitcoin dropped literally everything is red here. They're all down, you know, 12%, 9%. Yo, what's up guys? Wow, long time no see. I haven't seen you guys in like three weeks. So sorry that I've been absent, kind of was home, doing some busy stuff, and also creating some great content for you guys that we're gonna be rolling out in 2018. So definitely stay tuned for that because it's super dope and I think you guys would be super excited about it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the video. So uh, today we're actually not talking about Shopify. We're talking about um, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, which is something that I'm invested in and interested in. And I think a lot of you that are watching the video are probably interested in. If you're not, obviously, uh, you know, you don't have to watch this. But um, there's something that happened over the last like two to three days and more specifically just yesterday. Um, and that is that the coins, pretty much all the coins have just been dropping like rocks, like totally gone, like losing 30%, like crazy numbers. Um, and lots of people lost lots of money um, over the course of the last like 48 hours. So, um, and also BitConnect shut down as well, which is something that I was invested in. I was invested in BitConnect. Um, I only had like $1,000 in, but um, I had grown that $1,000 all the way up to almost 3,000 um, so I essentially just lost like three thousand dollars there, uh, you know, which sucks But there is something that we can learn from uh, from that and from just the crash in general and that is that number one um, You know only invest money that you are willing to lose or you know never no one ever wants to lose money You don't go investing to lose money But um, you know make sure that the money that you are investing is not something that is vital that you absolutely need to have, which in my case, I had an extra thousand dollars that I could invest into that. So it's not tragic that I lost it. It sucks, but it's not tragic, okay? Um, I'm also invested in other things besides BitConnect, so um, it's fine. But let's go ahead and jump into uh, the coin market cap, which is you know the website where you can find uh, all the different cryptocurrencies. And as you can see here, uh, Bitcoin dropped literally everything is red here. They're all down, you know, 12%, 9%. Uh, Bitcoin was more than 4% at, at one point. It looks like some of these are making a rebound right now. Um, Tron apparently is up 28%, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, all of these are huge declines, okay? So there's obviously something going on that has more mainstream relevance because usually the price of, of Bitcoin, if it goes down, the altcoins are usually up and vice versa. So there has to be something going on. And there's a lot of speculation. A lot of people are talking, um, you know, cryptocurrency bloodbath continues, Bitcoin falls below 10,000. I also want to keep in mind that it was just like a month, maybe a month and a half ago, that Bitcoin crossed over the $10,000 mark. So it's now below 10,000. So it, I mean, obviously it's, it's bad that it declined that much, but it hasn't been over 10,000 for that long. A lot of people are speculating that South Korea um, is putting bans or uh, different types of regulations on cryptocurrencies and that's um, affecting the the price as you can see in this article there's tons of articles about it um, there's also articles about specifically uh, China and Russia okay because they're apparently uh, also trying to put some bans and, and regulations on cryptocurrency so there's all these different factors that are going into potentially um, you know decreasing the price so if this is true if they full out ban then the price is obviously going to go down because people are not going to be able to there's not as much uh, as many people in the market right um, so, so that's one thing okay but what I was able to find through doing some research um, I was actually able to find a reddit forum that kind of explains what's going on and there, there is a very specific trend um, that happens at this time of year every single year. Okay, so I, I want to kind of dive into that. So if we go back to uh, the coin market cap and we just click on the Bitcoin here, I want to show you something pretty interesting um, that happens pretty much every year around this time. So um, as you can see, the price is just under 11,000. Here's the chart. But I want to uh, show you something that happens, okay? So if we go back to 2015, early 2015, I'm just going to go to like March or something like that, okay? I want to show you something. So check this out. Once this loads, you'll be able to see there is a sharp uh, spike here. Or not spike, I'm sorry, a sharp dip, okay? And this is at, let's see, January 14th, which is today is, what's today? January 17th. 
So this is January 14th. This was like three days ago in 2015, okay? And then, see, it, it goes back up and turns into a bull market, but it drops severely right there. Uh, let's move the marker over to 2016 and see how that is. So it's the same thing it looks like with 2016, as you can see here, uh, January, it's kind of going up, and then it sharply drops down around, was that, January 16th. So that was like yesterday, which is exactly what it did yesterday. It had a sharp decrease like that. If we go on to 2017, let's check out that. Okay, so 2017, again, this is January 5th. It starts dipping down, again dipping. This is January 7th, all the way down to January 11th, 12th area. It's dipping down, again, at the exact same time period as we are at right now. So if I just move the marker to 2018, you'll be able to see that that is the exact trend that's going on. This is where we are at right here. Okay, and it's actually making a little rebound today, which is good. Um, but that being said, what is causing this trend and why is it happening every single time? Well, um, according to this Reddit forum and actually a few other sources that I found, whoops, a uh, few other sources that I found, what's actually going on is the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year, okay? And as many people know, uh, Asia still dominates the crypto trading by volume, accounting for the vast majority of money flowing in and out. Guess what's coming up in three weeks? The Lunar New Year, okay? That's the Chinese New Year. Lots of money is flowing back to fiat to buy presents and plane tickets. People spend tons of money on travel and presents during the Lunar New Year. This is their Christmas. Okay, so we just had Christmas like, you know, two, three weeks ago, whatever it was, and the market skyrockets. People start spending money. Same thing here. This is also the largest mass migration of people on the planet occurring over two weeks. Projections are 100 billion USD in sales. Remember that the crypto market is antithetical to the stock market. Stocks boom when business is booming during the holidays, so two weeks ago. Crypto investors are retail investors, not Wall Street investors. Retail investors sell during the holidays, thus the crypto market falls. Uh, the sell-off sell has happened exactly three weeks before the Lunar New Year, each of the last four years. So everybody chill out, the bulls will be back in February. Uh, you can't fault these Chinese and Korean bros for taking major gains to buy some cool shit for their families. Hell, if, I would want, hell, if you want, you can buy up their cheap coins in the meantime, okay? So basically what's happening here is a lot of people are selling out their crypto to go ahead and buy, um, you know, buy presents or whatever for their family. And this usually happens three weeks before the Chinese New Year. So if we look at the date where the Chinese New Year is, is that is February 16th, it's about three, three and a half weeks away from where we are now. This aligns uh, perfectly with what we're doing, okay? But I also wanna show you this because I took some screenshots of something that's pretty interesting, okay? Um, here are the Bitcoin charts. So this is, let me go back to, this is early 2015, okay? So as we can see, here's the dip. If we go down to 2016, again, that dip is happening at the exact same time. This is, uh, what was it, February 16th? This is when the new year is happening, okay? So you can see it's down that entire time. Uh, let's go back to see the same thing. Okay, dip, um, I guess it spiked a little bit at that point. But, okay, same thing here in 2017. Again, another dip at the exact same time going into the new year, okay? And then exactly where we are at here, it dipped hard. And as I'm anticipating, based on the trends from the last four years, it will probably go back up after the Chinese new year. So that being said, uh, here's some things that I'm doing going into and, and how I'm handling this situation. So if I go back um, to where we were, Okay, this is some advice, some investment advice from Warren Buffett. And he says, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Basically what this means is buy, high, or buy low and sell high, okay? So what a lot of people were doing over December, this is basically what our chart is, okay? It's, it's, it's like, think, think of the first half of this chart right here. Okay, this was like December. It was just skyrocketing, all the cryptos were going crazy, people were getting greedy, they were buying up at the high point, okay? But now that it crashed yesterday, everyone's like, oh, crypto's a scam, it's you know, it's a fraud, everybody sell it off before you lose everything, okay? So they get scared and they sell it here. But look what this says, if you repeat this, you're broke, okay? What Warren Buffett is telling us is that we should be selling at the high point and actually buying here at the low point, okay? So if we go back to our chart, this is our low point where we are at right now, January 17th, this is where 
um, we should be buying. So a full disclaimer, I am not in any way a financial advisor. I'm just saying things that, uh, that I have read, that I've researched, that I've found in trends myself, and things that I am going to be using going forward in terms of my investments into cryptocurrency. Now that being said, uh, you know, if you choose to invest, great. If you don't choose to invest, that's fine. However, only invest money that you are, uh, you know, willing to actually lose if everything goes bad and, and you end up losing it, like I did with BitConnect, and that's that's fine. Okay. So, what's cool about this is that we are literally getting the, uh, you know, whatever Bitcoin or you know Ripple, whatever you decide to buy, you're getting it at like 30% discount from what it was a week ago which is insane um, because assuming this goes up, you'll be just fine. You'll be able to sell at a high point again and you'll be able to make some profits, okay? Because we're buying low, we're selling high. So if you do choose to invest, look at it more as a discounted, um, almost as like a buy one, get one free type of situation as opposed to um, you know something that you have to sell right away, okay? Because I own Bitcoin, I bought it back at, um, I bought it at a few points. I bought at 6,000, I bought at 13,000, um, which obviously, the 13,000 is down, but that's fine. It'll, it'll grow back. I'm, I'm pretty confident. But if you buy here, it goes up to 20,000. Like, you know, that's great. You can sell it off. You can make some money. So uh, that being said, if you are interested in investing in Bitcoin, I actually have a link to the exchange that I use down below. You can check it out if you so desire. Um, but other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content. We're talking about entrepreneurship, Shopify. Uh, I might throw some more Bitcoin stuff. Let me know if you guys like uh, this cryptocurrency talk because I know it's kind of a hot topic and a lot of people are talking about it. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments below and uh, you know we can make some more of it. So without any further ado, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.